What's up, everybody? So, Physio Trader here. Um, wanted to do a review of the Street Smart Edge platform again. I think uh, right now you should have this entire screen up. Uh, this is one of my monitors. I have two monitors, so this is my primary monitor. Um, this is what my Street Smart Edge platform is laid out, and I wanted to just kind of go through some things that <clears throat> I don't think I touched on in my my introductory video for Street Smart Edge, um, and a couple things that I, I did like. So. If um, you know if, if some of this is not familiar, um, basically over here in this order window box, this is a Street Smart Edge Charles Schwab's version of their order entry window. Um, they call it their all-in-one trade ticket. So you've got your level twos here. <clears throat> you can open up your options chain if you want. Um, within that options chain, you can open up the level twos uh, for the options chain as well. Uh, but I'm not doing options. Um, but I talked about you know the buy sell button and then of course here we have a designated short button those are for uh, if you want to go short now right now I'm in my 401k there's actually no money in this account um, so you can kind of click down this drop down window which you can hide or show your balances I don't just like it there because it's just kind of looking me in the face if I'm up or down it's just kind of something to, to kind of get in the way and really it's just you know don't need to be there um, <clears throat> I want to designate more of my, my screen real estate to the, the charts, to the market. Um, but anyway, so uh, essentially here, right now just Palantir's up. Uh, these are all locked. But basically, I, I wanted to kind of designate this right here. So this button, as you can see, this short button, if I try to click it, nothing can happen. And that's because this account, one, has no funds, and two, is not a margin account, which means I cannot borrow shares. Um, if I were to... You know drop down to another account as you can see this button now does highlight up the short button it is able to be shorted um, but just so we don't actually mess up but again I also like that is when I click from one account to another it will it'll pop up very quickly and uh, and show um, you know I can just look real quick and see which account I'm on as you can see I do have quite a few accounts in there uh, most of them are retirement accounts um, but so I wanted to talk about that. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about is if you open up Street Smart Edge and you don't do any additional things to it, you will get uh, actually this right here, which is what they call market depth. Uh, market depth is free. This is not the full um, uh, NASDAQ uh, book, ARCA book. Um, I don't, I no longer actually get level twos from Charles Schwab because I noticed they had a little bit of a delay, not very much, but about two second delay. And since I'm already paying a, a pretty high premium with light speed to get it, I don't see the point in paying for it twice. Uh, secondly, this is not a active trade account anymore. Uh, since I'm using Lightspeed as my active trading account, I don't really need or care that often if I'm going to get in, and, you know, in or out within a one penny difference. Although these tend to be pretty good for the the immediate near future. Uh, again, with that being said. If this is your primary account or you're using uh, this platform to be an active trader, which you can, and I'll go through that in a minute, and why I believe you can, then you absolutely do want to add level twos. I think as of right now, as of this recording, February of 2021, they, uh, they do actually have a charge. Their website still says they do not, but that charge, I believe, is $30 per quarter, so $30 every uh, three months. Um, but if you want to get that, then what you're going to do is you're just going to click the sh uh, schwab.com tab. So you have file settings schwab.com. Run down here, click add level two, click that. It'll pull up a prompt. Basically, you just have to fill out a piece of paper, uh, sign it, send it to Schwab, and then um, it normally takes about an hour um, for them to kind of authorize it, depending on how busy they are. And then once they do authorize it, you will notice that this will change and it'll actually start moving a little bit faster. Now this color scheme that I have is not the standard color scheme. This is just the one that I have that matches my color scheme on light speed. So I just, mentally it works for me. Um, same like uh, all of my moving averages and all of my indicators, RSI's, volume bars, all of these, I, I want them to look the same. I want them to be a seamless transition between the two. Now aesthetically, I do actually like the charts from Schwab better than, than Lightspeed. So that is why on my other monitor, I always have Schwab charts, which you can't see. I always have Ch Charles Schwab's charts up, whereas Lightspeed, I basically am just using the order window button. Uh, the order window, the level twos, and the one minute chart, the one that I, I want it to be as, as snappy and as readily accurate as possible, then I am going to use that. Now the other thing I wanted to add is, 
that with Charles Schwab, uh, you have, uh, so Lightspeed over here is a direct access broker, which is down here. Um, but Charles Schwab is a, you know, more of your, your standard um, investment broker, all inclusive broker. But so when you place a trade, you're gonna get this venue, which means like what routing order do you want it to go to? And it's gonna say smart, that's just Charles Schwab's smart route, just like Lightspeed has a Lightspeed smart route. I think it's LSPT. Um, their routing system and then basically it's just going to send it to the book that gives them the best bang for their buck again them charles schwab whoever the broker is as opposed to you if you want to get in immediately then you're going to want to use a direct access broker so that's number one number two so charles schwab does allow um, a limited um, direct access which is they give you access to the uh, NASDAQ and the ARCA books, which is you know fine for me because all I do is send to the NASDAQ book anyway, which uh, Lightspeed. Um, so if I were to want to do that, I would just click NASDAQ um, and then I would type in the order I want that I want to get in, the order I want to get out, and then um, I would just, it would send it directly to NASDAQ, vice versa. If I wanted to post to the ARCA book, I would go there. If I wanted to go anywhere else, I would have to use the smart window. Uh, so here is some um, Pros and cons to this. Uh, well, first, let me go back. Um, like I said, when you use uh, Street Smart Edge, if you do not have access to the direct access, you will have access to Smart, pre market, after hours. You will not even see these. These should not even be uh, available to be seen. Um, so, again, you'll just do those just like you did with adding level twos. You're going to click down on Schwab and you're going to click um, add direct access. They're going to have you fill out a little bit of paperwork and sign that you do know what you're doing. Um, and you know that way you are able to utilize uh, the direct access again that took probably about an hour um, and then I think I had to shut down the entire program and reload it before I could physically see those two venues um, now I do have it set to stock you know start on NASDAQ and always stay on NASDAQ now some of the benefits again if you don't have direct access or if you're not familiar with direct access brokers that just means you get to send directly to the book uh, NASDAQ directly to the uh, to the exchange directly you don't have to wait for your broker to kind of process and think about it you're just bypassing that time which you know realistically is maybe one or two seconds but that lag could be in the difference between getting filled or not um, you know in addition to that uh, let's say I like to you know I'm making a trade in pre pre market or after market during the market hours you use smart and, and that's even with Lightspeed. You have a, a that Lightspeed routing tool. Um, after in pre-market or after market hours, um, it, if you try to use their smart function, it won't work. You have to use a direct access to get it. Now, whereas with Schwab, you are able to uh, do pre-market or after market, but you'll just have to click the tab pre-market. And, and these, of course, these buttons are gone because uh, they won't be available until pre-market time and then vice versa these after hours will not be available until after the close so the market is currently open right now and that's why they're gone uh, so what i like about that another thing i like is when you're on uh, the nasdaq or arca uh, these are going to be you know utilized so if you're in pre-market hours or after hours and you want to place a trade and the pre-market and after hours are physically on which I think is like 4 a.m. To, to 8 p.m. or 5 p.m. or something, I, I don't know, um, then, you know, it doesn't matter. You, you're just sending it directly to the exchange and you can kind of play, you know, pre or post uh, market hours without any issues there. So, again, that's another big uh, plus that I do like from it. Uh, and the other thing, so those are just the, the, the two major things. And there's one more thing I wanted to talk about that I, I do like. Um, so, you know, probably, and I can show you, you know, kind of, a, you know, this little box here is, um, you know, it just kind of shows me whatever candle I'm hovering over, it's going to give me the data that it's on. So it'll tell you the times, obviously the date, what day it is, the time, uh, all the info, what the volume was, the height, the low, the close, the open, and so on and so forth. Um, but one of my favorite things about uh, Street Smart Edge is that if you're building a position, let's say I was to buy right here. You know, right now I got on the ask and I got in, it would show me a green bar. Uh, and I don't want to get into this trade or else I would show you, but it would show me a green bar and say exactly where it is. If I dollar cost average up or dollar cost average down, that bar is going to go up or down based on whatever my average is. And so I like that. So then you kind of have this just bar just standing there. That way, if the position goes against you or if it goes above you, you have a very clear cut bar 
Um, if you're going long, it's going to be green. If you're going short, it'll be red. Um, but you'll have this bar just looking at you that says, oh, wow, um, you know, this is how far I am from breaking even or how far I am from, you know, making a winning trade, a losing trade. Um, and again, I can take another video where I'm in a position and I'll kind of show you or showcase that. But then the last thing I really like is this estimated buy. Um, Lightspeed, to my knowledge, does not have this, and I actually kind of don't like it. Um, but in a, it very well could just be that I don't know about it. But I, I like this estimated buy feature right here where, you know, it, it basically just does the, the simple math for you. So um, I'll just start clicking some, you know, pennies up and down. Uh, what I like about this is let's say you have, I don't know, $40,000 in your account. Um, now, obviously, if you had $40,000, you know, eyeballing it, you know that you would have, you know, at least a thousand shares you could get. Um, but, you know, you don't know that for certain. What I like about it is let's say that you're, you know, you've got a $40,000 account, you have, uh, you know, three and you're like, you have 300 shares and you're like, how many can I do? It just kind of makes the math that much more simple. Now, again, the math is simple. The math is likely going to be simple for most people that are trading. However, in the middle of trading, in the middle of developing and formulating a trading plan, in the middle of, of the emotions, the voices that are going on in your head, did I make a mistake? Am I in the right spot? Should I get in? Should I get out? Should I hold? Should I stay? Should I leave? Should I put a stop up? And all the other voices that come in, um, you don't want to have to think, how much money am I putting on the line? How much money am I risking? What is my my risk? What is my reward opportunity? So I like that this kind of just shows you, you know, how much money is physically invested into the trade. And again, although we're trading, you know, in and out likely, it, it doesn't matter. For me, I've just found that I, I actually do like this. Um, you know, everybody may be different, but that's one thing that uh, Lightspeed does not have, again, to my knowledge, at least, that it does not have that, um, that I would like to have. So just wanted to give you a quick uh, recap of what, uh, what it was. Um, and, you know, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But again, that is how you're going to add level two and direct access. You just go over on the platform itself. You can do it on the website, but it's actually easier to do it this way. Just click this Schwab.com button, uh, go all the way down uh, to add level two. You have to fill that out and then add direct access, um, fill that out. And then that is it. You are set up. It, like I said, it'll take about an hour. You'll get an email when it is ready. Just close down the broker, pull it right back up, and then you will have all of the access and you'll be able to verify at least direct access as if these two pop up or not. So like I said, if they do, then you know you do actually indeed have direct access. And yes, I did notice that my fill speed was substantially faster by adding direct access. And again, because it is a commission-free broker, anytime you can save money on commissions, you know, feel free or, you know, it's definitely ideal to do so, especially if you're not planning on scalping in and out of trades within seconds, then you don't need a platform like Lightspeed. If you're more of a swing trader and, and you know, you're looking to kind of get in through this or, or what have you, depending on whatever these candles were, then, uh, you know, a swing trade platform with commission for you is, is definitely going to be probably good enough for you. Only you can decide what type of broker you want. But um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me comments in the comment box. Uh, again, thank you for watching.